Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Catacombs 1 Demon War um, by Simpro Studios. Now we've already covered this once before, um, but it has been fully released. This was uh, the first time I covered it. It was in early access um, and it was trying to get greenlit. It got greenlit and now it's been released. It's available on Steam. We can see that here, version 1.02a. So we're going we're gonna to jump in. Your father has died. Ooh. Okay, so I think we we already watched this on the other one. So if you want to read this, like there's good voice acting and stuff, but we can we can skip it. So we're gonna we're gonna skip it. Oh, there we go. Yep. So last time we, we did this, I wanna I wanna go I wanna play the game a little bit more. If you want to see the story stuff, um, either pause it there, um, or go back to my other one because the the voice acting was fully implemented in the other one. Um, uh, I like it when they have voice acting. It's, it makes me happy. Um, we're not Galahad. We're Mr. Jacobs. That's me. Sweet. All right. Movement. You can use your keyboard arrow keys or simply left click to move on the map where you wish to move. In game menu, right click your mouse or hit the escape key. Okay. Q to view the game tutorial. Um, press K to load the game save menu. H to use brew of mending on your starting character. Okay. M to, yep, and E to pull up your item equipped shift key. All right. Let's, let's begin. Let's go talk to Mira, the healer. The healing touch of Mira is well known throughout the kingdom. Greetings. Do you wish to pay the 50 gold fee to be healed, healed today? No, no, I'm healed already. Not right now. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, okay, we have to click again. That's fine. Theodore de Bard was known throughout the city for skill and all man. Hello there, Mr. Jacobs. I seem to have misplaced my guitar recently. If you see it, please bring it to me so that I may feel its strings beneath my fingers. Yep. I remember this. I remember this. Talk to Bre Brina the Sage. Um, what mystical secrets do I want to learn? Yeah. Mr. Jacobs would like to learn some spells. Um, how much does that cost? We can't, we can't afford, we can't afford any of this. Okay, well, we're, 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 we're finished then. Um, yep, there we go. We're finished learning spells. Let's talk to the shopkeeper. Um, feel free to browse around. All right, let's have a look. Brew of mending. We own none. We have 150 gold. Wow, they're 40 each. Uh, sure, let's buy a couple. There we go. Um, let's buy, let's buy a dagger. I don't know. What do, what do we, what do we have already though? Um, equipment. Yeah. Mr. Jacobs. What does Mr. Jacobs have? Um, optimize. We have nothing. Right. So we bought some brews of mending instead of buying stuff like we probably should have, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's buy a, um, a hand axe of precision. Nice. Yeah, let's buy that. Sweet. And, um, sure. Bless some eternal clothes. And then we'll go equip to Mr. Jacobs. And optimize. There we go. All right, let's go talk to Grelda the cook. See what she has to say. What's up, Grelda? Grelda looks at you with slightly pained expression. Those damned rats again. They've invaded the stockhouse. Do you think... Yep, I can get rid of them. Sure. She'll give me the guitar. Um, where's the stockhouse? Is this the stockhouse? No. Must be up here, right? Must be that. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, where is the stockhouse, though? I'm... Maybe it's up here. Do we go up the stairs? No. No. Okay, let's talk to Grelda again. Uh, do you think you get rid of, I'll give you the guitar. Okay. Uh, oh, there, city storehouse. It's called the stock house there. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go double check. Let's go double check that. Um, because I'm pretty sure she called it the stock house and not the storehouse. Yeah, she calls it the stock house there and not the storehouse. But I think what they want is for us to, to go to the storehouse. So there's a little bit of a, uh, yeah, that's confusing. It needs to be called the storehouse or the stock house. Yep. Um, Right. 
some rats, and they're uh, they're going around. What's that? Oh, we got some money. I like money. I found a long sword and a rune sword. Well, let's let's go ahead and equip that. That seems like um, that seems pretty good. Optimize. Nice. Love it. Now we can carve them up hard. All right. What's up, rat? Oh, they don't they don't care. All right. Well, let's just go open this one as well. Anything else? I found leather armor and a ring. Oh, sweet. Um, equip. Nice. Optimize that. Yeah, ring of the hunter. And lucky armor of the fox. Love it. All right, so now we fight these rats, right? Um, I want to fight the rat. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to fight the rat. Why? There's just rats everywhere. Last time we had to... Oh, there we go. Now we can fight him. All right. Let's... Let's rage slash him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll have those, thanks. There we go. Okay, now, now, now it's happening. Gotta rage slash him. Yep. Stupid rat. Yeah, we get two options. Two things. Nice. It only took one, though. Um, we're pretty heavily equipped, so... No bigs. Oh, oh, we might want to, um, we better, we better, we better go ahead and, we keep picking up lots of equipment, man, so this is like a quality quest. Oh, oh we're optimized. Okay, we're, we're good to go. The game says we're good to go. That means we're good to go. Uh-huh. Come on, Mr. Ratty Rat. There we go. And good night. Yeah, I'm just too good. Like, I'm so good at killing rats. I'm like, I'm like Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, good at killing rats. I've got a rat killing bat, and uh, man, I am just good at killing rats. Watch this. This guy, he's not gonna make it out of this out of this fight alive. Definitely not. Easy. Just killed him. Killed him like the rat that he is, causing problems in my in my storehouse, my stock house. Whatever we want to call it. Right? Come on, Mr. Ratty Rat. Stop walking around. I wanna I wanna kill ya. There we go. And dun 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 We just got some pretty epic music. Oh I remember last time I had a harder time with this. Or maybe it was Maybe there were skeletons somewhere. I, man, it has been a while since I played this game. Um here we go. Yep. Oh, that's right. We got into the dungeon and then I just immediately got wrecked. I remember it now. Yep. Sweet. Oh, and we got a brew of mending. Love it. All right. So we've, uh, we, we dealt to the, uh, to the rats. There's no rats left. Let's go talk to Grelda now. What's up, Grelda? No. What? Oh, okay. You're just walking in straight lines. Sweet. Thank you, dear Mr. Jacobs. Now I can go down there without fighting off those nasty things. The bard has been looking for this. Bring it to him and he can help. Ha <laughs> ha. She's been hiding his she's been hiding his guitar. That's so rude. Um, thank you ever so much, Mr. Jacobs. Now I can light up the city with the music once again. His smile fades. The village elder, Dionys, wishes to speak with you and awaits you to the south. Okay, cutscene time. It's unskippable. Here we go. What's up, Dionys? How's life in the hood? I've heard of your father's untimely passing. I'm truly sorry. Sorry. Yep. What can I do for you today? Um, I need a key to open it. Yeah, let's do that one. We believe the key has been stolen by a local mage, Torek. He has not been seen for several weeks now. We also believe he's been experimenting with demonic sorcery, and his soul may no longer be his own. Please be careful, young Mister Jacobs. Once you defeat him. Return to me and I will clear the way for you to enter the dungeon. Okay. Uh, where do I go to do that? Oh, Torag study, right. It, just, it popped up. It's right there. Sweet. Let's just go do it. Let's go t Let's go deal to Torag. Right. Um, okay. 
Can we just walk over here? Okay, so they're not walking around. They're just frozen in place. I'm not... I don't know. I don't think that they're supposed to be frozen in place. I think they're supposed to be walking around. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's... We'll deal to this rat. We'll deal to all of them. It'll be fine. Strike the rat. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. Strike the rat. Yeah, the rat. Oh. Yep. Nice. Good work, man. We're, we're nearly at a level. Oh, we got another brew of mending. That's good. We're doing well. Um, we'll go deal to this other rat as well. That's important. It's important to deal to the rats. That's my wheelhouse. That's where I thrive is beating on the rats. Just bang, bang, bang. Like that. Look at this rat. Look at his stupid face. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm going to fight you. And I'm like, nah, not going to happen. Oh, I got two. I got two attacks because, and last time I did this, um, I asked why I got two attacks and the developer, um, Simpro Studios, they told me that I'm wearing some equipment or something that sometimes gives me two attacks. Maybe. That was what it was last time. Let's see if, let's see, like, um, equipment. Yeah, come on. All right. So... Okay, so we want to hit rate, 2%, critical rate, 2%. Lucky Leather Armor of the Fox. Wearer cannot be killed. Oh, dude, I can wear eternal clothes and then um, go back. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Ring of the Hunter, 25% chance. So what does the Lucky Armor of the, fo the Fox do? What? It doesn't... So this doesn't say this doesn't say what it does. The ring of the hunter says what it does, but the lucky armor of the fox does not say what it does. But that's fine. The eternal um, stuff means I cannot be killed, so that's important. Hopefully we don't get just totally rolled by this guy here. Doom, 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 doom. Let's rage slash him. Yeah. Oh, he attacked before us. That's like not okay. That's all kinds of not okay. Yeah. Oh no, he gets another attack on us. That's right, we've got, oh, we got our double attack. Shunk, shunk. Shunk. Yeah. Ring of the Hunter, love it. Oh, so close to a level. Give me my level. And we're, we're pretty rich now as well. So that's good. What's up, Mr. Gabo? Gabo face. Looking to get wrecked in your face. Oh, he hit me. That's not. That's in my face. In my face. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, we got a double attack. Oh, dude, he's wrecking me. That's right. We killed him. All right. Oh, we love. We get to level up. Elixir Featherfall. Um, I want to level up though. Four training points were gained. Training feature in the main menu. Oh, dude, let's do that. Nice. Oh, dude, I'm excited to I'm excited to level up. Let's spend. All right, what do we want? We want influences chance to hit and how soon a character acts in battle. Okay, I like that. Um, magic resist, fate, various luck based fashion, such as finding extra treasure and critical hits. Maybe that's what the Lucky Armor of the Fox is doing. It's giving me better of that. What is resist? Reduces the damage of physical attacks. Um, increases the damage of physical attacks. Right. Um, right, I might, I might up this. One, two, three, four. There we go. We'll go for the dexterity. Finish. Nice. All right, and then we're going to, we're going to exit out. And we're going to... We're gonna drink a thing, and we're gonna go kill this last guy. Here we go. And then hopefully Torag arrives, so we can kill him. Mystery Goblin, is he called? Oh, Mystic Goblin. So he's tougher, he's tougher than a normal goblin. Oh no! There we go, wrecked him, I knew it. Yeah, the dexterity seems like it's probably gonna be pretty important because acting first in combat is probably really good. Um, Balm of Blessings, sweet. Toreg the Cursed. Hello, hello, Toreg. 
You ready to go down? You will die, mortal. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> you will die, mortal. That's so good. The mage formerly known as Toric, uh, my pets, I shall send you to the nine hells for all eternity. I think the comment I made last time was that I'd like to hear him fully voice acted. Yeah. It makes sense. Um, let's rage slash him. And let's, let's strike him. Oh, I get to attack first. That was the... Oof. Okay, um, pouch. Brew of Mending. Nice. All right, so let's strike. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't very much. Um, what magic can we do? Oh, we can't do any magic. What pouch stuff do we do? <laughs> Gain a hundred to a thousand coins when used. Oh, that's sweet. Increase fate by. Oh, these are all really good. Where did we get all this? Restores mana. Gain plus one strike when used. Plus two max life permanently. Oh man, I should have been. Deals five times your current magic power and fire to all enemies. Oh. Well, let's... Oh, magic power? Oh, nah. Okay, um... Let's just... Let's strike. And then... Oh, and then we'll use a pouch. We'll, um... We will do something. Oh, that gains one dexterity. Is that permanently as well? Uh, that's right. Oh, we missed. There we go. Right, now we can fully wreck him. Um, pouch. I want Brew of the Mage. Because we need to get, we need to get our MP back. Yeah, and now we're going to Rage Slash. Have that. Nice. Uh-oh. I hope, do we have another Brew of Mending? I'm hoping so. Um, because he can, he can kill us from there. Oh, we've got four. We're fine. Rage slash him. Get him. Get him. It's like, bloop, bloop. Kajunk. Oh, dude. You're going down. You're going down like a clown. Yep. And. Oh, he's got one life left. Why? Come on. There we go. Goodbye. Done, burgers. Done. Gotcha. Ooh, well, we're gonna go have a look at all that stuff. He bursts into ash in front of us. Yep. Inside his ashes, you see a large bronze key, which you take. Sweet. All right, let's um, let's get into these. Uh, let's get into our pouch. Um, brew. Nope. Pouch. Thank you. Restores five durability. Yep. Oil of sharpening. Yeah, let's gain some de let's gain some dexterity. Oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. Salve the fortunate. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we're just we need some gold as well. Six hundred five gold. Haha, <laughs> that's, that's rad. I like it. Um, okay, well, the Bruise of Mending were 40 gold, and that woman wanted 50 gold to heal completely, so it's cheaper to use a Brew of Mending, so we'll do that. There we go. All right, I'm on to it. Come on, out. There we go. Um, let's, let's check our equipment, make sure it's optimized. Optimized. Oh, we've got a gigantic halberd now. <laughs> Rad. Here we go. We're making progress. We're making good progress. Uh, let's go talk to the elder. Sup, man. Um, he was once one of the trusted me. I'm not going to read that. My voice is uh, is not good for doing voices today for some reason. My, my throat's a bit off, so... We'll show him the key. Yes, this will work. Please be careful. There are many hidden dangers and secrets in that cursed hole. It is not something we discuss openly. Good luck. Right. Um, 
Breen of the Sage. Uh, so we can get some magic. We, we probably don't need to do any magic stuff. We're just gonna, we're gonna hack and slash. I want to hack and slash. That's what I want to do. Um, Toxic Spear of the Wolf. Strike. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're happy. We're happy. Leather armor. We can sell stuff. Um, weapon. Oh, wow. Look at all the stuff we can sell. Um, yep. Let's, uh, okay. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. Hand axe. Yep. Yeah, let's sell that. Two. Oh, wow. The restless mall. I might, I might keep that. We might actually use that. Um, yeah, let's keep the restless mall. Talisman of the troll. What does it do? Life regen plus 8%. Oh man. Oh dude, we're so rich anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Um, let's get in. Let's get in. And check out, um, let's check out our weapons and stuff. Um, okay. Hit rate plus 3%, hit rate plus 4%. Let's, let's do that one. I like that one better. All right, nothing on my feet, nothing on my head. So let's buy something for my feet and head. Come on, come on. All right. Feet and head, thanks. This is what I want. Um... Right, nothing for my feet, nothing for my head. Okay. Well, we might buy... What does this one do? 30 to 45 life. Let's... We'll buy... We'll buy two. There we go. Alright. And now we've got enough money to learn some magic. We might... We might learn some magic. Uh, okay. Come on. Learn a spell. Yeah. What does that one do? Drains life. Use it. To attack the target three times is... Ooh. Assault us. That's pretty rad. Um, 15 to 30. Five damage. Okay. Anathema. Putting him to sleep for three to five turns. Wow, that's really good. Creates a shield that prevents death and reduces damage. Okay. Dude, what is the best thing on here? Um, okay, and blinds them, summons a blizzard, deals three to five times the normal damage, okay. Oh wow, that's a really good one. Plus 8% life regen and plus 5% mana regen, and reduces physical damage. I like that. Let's buy that. What? Did I learn it already? What's wrong? Why can't I learn that? I don't know why I can't learn it. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, mana costing cost five. I have enough mana. Come on. <sighs> okay, Diabolus. Yeah, Impetus. Fine, we'll just go with the Saltus. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. That's why we can't learn it, because we've already learned it. Finished. Sweet. All right. Let's go in through the locked door, and let's try out some of these spells. Yep. Let's do it. The demon, Sorcerbard, was not pleased. Sitting upon a weathered throne, hewn of ancient stone, the beast gazed into the crystal, his face twisted in a mask of rage. The sun had awoken, and with that fact, the demon was ill at ease. The determination mm. of the boy was clear to see, and the death of his father made him even more of a threat. He knew that this young man would not stop until he discovered that which had long been buried. Sorcerball stood, a seven-foot-tall incarnation of pure evil, and crossed the rocky floor, standing at the edge of a cliff, whose depths seemed to burrow into the center of the earth itself. If only this young warrior 
were prepared for the secrets he would uncover. The misery, the treachery, and the betrayal. Even a powerful being like himself dreaded this day, a day he knew would come. But the demon smiled slightly, a tiny, spiteful little grin. If the boy came, he would be ready. The demon Sorcebal was pleased. Was pleased. Yeah, well, let's let's go wreck some face. Come on, let me in. I press shift. Shift. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Oh, what's going on here? Find a key to unlock the dungeon. The mystery of Glendo. Okay, find three clues, right? Secondary. Those those dirty rats clear the city. Oh, I did that. Right, I did those. Okay, so now we're on to We've done that. So now we're on we're on to this one. There we go. Oh no. Alright. Okay. So let's go. Oop. Let's go pick this up. Oh, random encounter. Nice. Gotta love the randoms. So we're fighting. Uh, I can't see what we're fighting yet because my battle orders are in the way. That might be a problem. I don't know. Can the can the thing come up there? Eh. Um. Let's try magic on him. Oh, dude. Yes. Let's try regenero and a rage slash. Regenero. <laughs> Regenero? Nice. Okay, so yeah, my life is regenerating at the moment. And ideally my mana as well. I thought it I thought regenerate regenerated my mana as well. Why is it not regenerating mana? Is it because I have none? Does it is it based off of how much I have left? Um Plus 5% mana regen. Right. Is it based on how much mana I have left? Because that's that's kind of annoying. Should be based off the total, right? Um, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. But that's fine. Go loot this, whatever it is. Oil sharpening and a skull cap. Oh, oh, oh. Something for my head. Something for my noggin. Yeah. Give me the noggin. Yeah. No, I don't want... I don't want the gigant... No, I don't want that. Sorry, man. I don't want... I want the Restless Maul. The Restless Maul is clearly better. Okay. Right. Oh, let's go check out this rusty strong box. You begin reading, I bid my friends take heed. Okay. I do not believe the demon will hurt our village. For reasons you already know. The dungeons must stay sealed, however, as ghastly things occur there that we should not get involved with. I only hope the promise I received is kept. May the gods keep us safe and watch over us in this dark time. Dionys. So the Elder had a very good idea something was going on down here. You don't appreciate being lied to and wonder what else he's hiding from the village. I do. I do wonder. Let's go talk to Locust. Oh, random. Okay, so we know that the thing doesn't work. Regenero doesn't work how we want it to. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Um, now we've got multiple things that are giving us extra attacks. I think that's really good. Yep. So, yeah, we're getting like two attacks nearly every time. We're optimized. Yep. Yep. Yeah, look at that. All oh, three attacks. Here we come. Whack. Whack. Good night. Gotcha. Oil and Gladius of Perfection. What is that? Man, there's so many cool things. I wanna... Um... Let's, uh... Yeah, pouch. Thank you. Brew of Restoration. No, Oil Sharpening. Uh, wow. No, okay. We don't want to use any of that. So what is the Gladius of Perfection? 
critical hit through eight. Strike is plus 15, plus seven. And this is plus nine. And this gives me plus one dexterity. Oh, durability one. Oh, we better go back to the pouch. Um, oil of sharpening. Uh, did we do it? I mean, I don't know. Whatever. We, I think we did it. I think we're there. That's fine. Um, let's go talk to Locust the Sorcerer. What's up, man? Happiness to you, stranger. I've been wandering these cursed halls for far too long in search of the very last region I need for a complex spell. Tongue of a very nasty creature known as a Gorgon, a demon from the very depths of the Nine Hells. I have a large emerald. Okay. Sure. All right, let's go talk to this guy. What's up, man? How's life in the hood? You see a young, tall, female knight searching the room. She greets you as you approach. At ease, traveler. I am Male, a member of the Order of the Viona Clan. My mission is a simple one. Finding the blood crown and disposing of it. Okay? She seems out of breath. The crown is evil, pure evil. So much rage, so much power. Her eyes drift off, then return to you. Please find it so that I may destroy it once and for all, removing its curse from our land. Okay. And then there's this restless spirit over here, which I'm not sure if we have to fight. Well, we have to fight whatever this is, um, which we'll do. Stupid giant bat. Take that, giant bat. Oh, we missed. Oh, we missed twice. Oh, lucky. Lucky he missed as well. It's fine. We get our three attacks, which is customary. Yeah! Oh, come on. Really? Oh, I only hit for two. Nah, he's fine. I'm not worried. Oh, I only got one attack that time. That's annoying. Annoying! Yes. Yes! Take the three attacks! whack a all Whack! Well, I'm excited to get another level as well. Oil of Adoration. What does that even do? Alright. Restless spirit time. Come on. The only thing that I dislike about random encounters is just... Yeah, it's... It's annoying and random. Actually, let's go pouch. Let's go... Oh, we don't have... We don't have anything to bring our magic back. Okay. That's fine. Let's just strike the spider as hard as we can. Bang! Gotcha! Come on, come on, get him! Um, yeah, it might be time to uh, drink up. Bloop, 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 bloop. Nice. And we missed. Of course we missed. That's fine. Come on. And whack. Oh, come on. Why do we keep missing? It's because our hit rate. That's why it keeps recommending the halberd. But. We get way more options. We get way more chances with the. Oh, he dodged it. Haha! <laughs> Critical in your face. Nice. Cruel Rondel. All right, we're still going here. No more random encounters. Gripped by some shame. Greeting, traveler. I've wandered these halls for many moons, searching for a pendant. Okay. Please travel or please find the tender. Yep. Okay. So we've got three different people, three people all lo all looking for different things. Cool. Oh. Drock with pet. <laughs> all right. Let's go talk to Drock with pet. What's up, Drock with pet? Um, playing with a rather nasty snake. You bother Drock. Pet not like intruders. Oh, okay. It's fight time. Is there two? Oh, there's two. Okay. Um, right. Let's let's fight the let's fight the cobra first. Hopefully we can hopefully we can take it out. We dodge. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, that's bad. Um, yeah, that one. And then strike the stupid cobra because it wrecked our face. There we go. And another one. Take 14. Aw, oh, come on. Okay, that's fine. Oh, what? Did they 
Oh my god, they broke my stuff. Okay. All right, come on. We can, we can do this. Um, Brew of Mending. Strike. Oh, he missed. Okay, lucky he missed because he got to attack before me. Um, strike. Strike. Come on. Oh, he's got so much health though. Jeez. Um, and I have no magic. What does that do? Oh, they I should have used that. Oh, well, let's use this. And we'll strike him. Yep, set him on fire for 15. All right, pouch. Brew of mending. Oh. Woo. All right. There we go. Come on. Give him the beats. Yep. Yeah. And again. More beatings. Oh, come on. This is the last one. Ori will kill me right here. Oh, so close. Yeah, come on. Oh, only one attack? All right, well, this is it. One life? Oh, God. Did he break my weapon? Did I break his weapon? What is going on here? I was defeated. <laughs> right. Oh, and I didn't save. <laughs> oh, excellent. I should have saved before I went into the dungeon. Um, no auto saves in this game. If you're going to play this, make sure you save because I now have to go back through and do all that stuff again. <laughs> Ooh, okay, well, I guess that's a thing that I'm going to have to do. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, that's Catacombs 1 Demon War. It's now on Steam. It's been released. Um, there's a lot here. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's got a good soundtrack. There's some good voice acting. Um, I'd love to see more voice acting. I love voice acted games. Um, it's one of the reasons that I played Star Wars The Old Republic over like other MMOs is the voice acting, you know? Good voice acting. I mean, bad voice acting is funny, but yeah, good voice acting, which what you've got here so far is. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Like and subscribe down below, and uh, class dismissed.